Hello, hello, hello Capricorns, it's Jackson Knowledge Goddess, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a weekly reading for you all and uh, basically just getting into, you know, what, whatever messages you need for this week. Um, thank you all for your patience, I have a lot more on with the family and birthdays and celebrations and all kinds of good things. Please keep in mind that these are general messages, so everything may or may not apply to you in your situation and that is okay. I hope that everything is well with you all. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend who may need it. And also, hit that post notification bell so that you may get the um, notifications for when I'm posting every week. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Capricorns. What is Capricorns weekly message, please? Don't worry, y'all. I'm going to get back on track. I'm going to get back on track. Let me... Let me fix. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to get back on track. Um, I just had a lot of things going on. A lot of new transitions in my life. Woo! Nice. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have liberation. Okay, let's get some light down here. And we have the ninth house. Okay, it says broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. Okay, so let's see. What else we got going on for the week for Capricorns? So some of you may be traveling. Um, some of you may be getting more into your spirituality. Um, some of you may be learning some new things. Okay, yep, you got the seventh chakra, the crown chakra, and also you have the angel of strength. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have no place like home. So definitely some of you could uh, be traveling away from home. Um, maybe you feel like you've been, um, you know, at home for too long. Um, you know, you just want to get out and learn something new, get some fresh new energy in your life. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, what else do we have? For La Capricorn. Okay. Oh, nice. So we have the Emperor card. What else do we have for Capricorn for this week? The Sun card. What else? What else do we have for Capricorns? The Ten of Wands. Okay, the Hierophant. Yep. So definitely some of you are getting more into your spirituality. Um, learning the deeper meanings of everything. Um, getting more detail. And you have the, the Two of Pentacles and the Hanged Man at the bottom. So I'm seeing where, okay, so you're in a, you're in a wonderful spot. Very happy. Okay. Um, working a lot, getting a lot of things done, and also putting a lot more into, um, some of you could be getting some type of spiritual guidance, or learning more about your spirituality, getting more insights about um, spirituality, um, religion, um, some of you could be trying to start new traditions, and um, just trying to figure out which way spiritually that you would like to go, okay? I'm gonna get a card from here. Okay, so let's see. This is Emperor card. It's not gonna be long, y'all. Okay, so we got yin and yang. What's the sun card, please? What's the sun card, please? What's the sun card, please? Sun card, please. Some of you are feeling very accomplished this week. Very accomplished. Um, some of you may have gotten like a raise or something this week or in a higher position this week. Um, and you're trying to figure out um, how to go about, uh, like how to reposition yourself, how to uh, incorporate these new, uh, this new position in, into everything else that you have going on already. Okay. Um, if you have been, been feeling anxious or like feeling worried or anything like that. I see that uh, uh, being alleviated. Okay, what's this Ten of Wands, please? What's this 
some of ones, please. Okay. This is ten of ones, please. Okay. So you have a magician. Okay. Definitely making things happen. What's this higher thing? Temple path, yeah. You look for the hierophant, you got the temple path. So, a lot of you are gaining a lot of uh, spiritual wisdom, learning a lot more. What's this two of pentacles? What's this two of pentacles, please? What's this two of pentacles for Capricorn this week? Okay, so, so you're not you're in a space where you don't know a lot. I feel like um, you're used to being in a space where you know everything or you know everything that you need to know. You know a lot, um, but you're just in the space of learning and it can be a little bit uncomfortable, um, but that is okay. That is okay. It's okay to be in an uncomfortable spot because that's where growth, that's where the growth happens, okay? Um, and you need, you need this sunlight to help this growth, okay? Because even on the Ten of Wands card, you can see it's a lot of work and it can be very uncomfortable. But, let me see. Okay, if you can see those little specks up there, those are like little sprouts of growth. Those are little sprouts of growth. There's plenty of growth here to be had and it's just a part of your journey, okay? So you got the Page of Pentacles. Reverse. This is Sun card. This is Sun card. Okay. This is Ten of Wands. This is Hierophant. Okay. Judgment. And the Nine of Wands. This is Two of Pentacles. This is Two of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you may have definitely been in a position where um, money wasn't necessarily flowing in. But honestly, there's no need to worry. I feel like, um, especially with you being an earth sign, earth sign are about, you know, the physical, about the money, the tangible. Um, and you may have had a, a, a period of where you couldn't figure out how to boss up, how to get the, those certain tangible things, um, like such as money, such as abundance. And um, you were just trying to figure out which way to go and how to go about doing it. But what I'm seeing is that you're figuring that out. Um, you may have been very confused in the beginning, but um, I see that in the end, with, this, with, with the ending with the Empress, you're going to figure out how to be abundant. How to how to mediate these tasks? How to get these tasks done in a more um, orderly fashion? How to strategically um, be the magician and make things happen for yourself? Um, not being stuck anymore. Okay. All right. Let's do one more. not going to be long. My weeklies are not going to be that long. Um, I'm going to save those long ones for the monthly or for uh, you know special occasions. But um, I, I want to make it to where I don't have y'all held up. Okay, so let's see. What other information do we have for the Capricorns for this week? Okay. Four of Cups. The Hermit. Okay. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. That's in the Pentacles. Oh, 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 this is too many cards. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Let's get one more, please. Okay. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so a lot of you, um, so I'm kind of seeing two scenarios. So one scenario I'm seeing where you have, um, you found something new, um, 
something new that you love to do, or you found someone new, and um, it kind of, the situation just kind of went away, or it, it had you thinking that it was going to be um, prosperous, or it had you thinking that, or this person had you thinking that this was going to be it, or, you know, you, you you'll be able to be with this person, you know, for the long run, in the long run. But, um, I'm just, I'm also seeing where you just left it alone. Or you were left alone. Um, trying to figure out, okay, why? And you, you know, you tried to give your all to the situation. Or so you thought. And you're not understanding kind of like what happened. Um, and it's caused you to like really just go inward. This is Ace of Cups. This is Ace of Cups. Oh, yep, look at this. With the Ace of Cups, you have rose colored glasses. And this is the uh, Love Oracle. The other deck I'm using right here is the, uh, the Mystic Beauties Easy Tarot. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not what you thought it was. You have the plenty, plenty of fish in the sea. Okay, what's the hermit card? What's the hermit card? Okay, you have autumn. You have round and round. What's the six of pentacles? And love line revived. Okay, so this may be one of those situations you have love potential at the bottom. So this may be one of those situations where um, it, it, I don't feel like this is a deep um, connection. It was very, very new and um, it was more like wishful thinking, okay? And, you know, you figured out that this is not what you wanted and so, you know, you moved on and you went back out like you didn't you weren't so hard on yourself or you don't need to be so hard on yourself about this situation it's okay at least you learned early on that this is not going to work and you didn't have to stay around or stick around um, for a long time to find out that it wasn't going to work okay especially with this round and round um clarifying the ten of pentacles which is a reverse the ten of pentacles uh the ten of pentacles originally represents, you know, well-established. It, it, it represents longevity, wealth, achievements, things like that, and inheritance. With it being um, in reverse, look at this. You have financial failure, loneliness, family disconnected, decreased fortune, poor investment. So this was more of a poor investment that's, that was going to have you going round and round in circles. It wasn't going to work anyway. So it's good that you found out early. Okay, so this was y'all's weekly message. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't worried, look, you have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom, meaning that everything is going to work out just fine. So you don't have to worry about it. You know, take things lightly, um, keep things lighthearted, and continue to learn more and grow more um, as you are learning more and broadening your horizons. And also be careful if you have been traveling. Um, and yeah, so this was y'all's weekly message. I love y'all. Thank you so much for your patience. I will see y'all next time. Bye.